my chair. The truth is, uh, Governor, when we left Isiolo, some of us were actually shocked because uh, our visit was very independent. Of course, we were with the senator and we understood the politics at the time. We saw some ladies discussing it and youths and everything, which for somebody like me, it was really a very sad scenario. Number two, just the way my Secretary General has said that when he was in charge yesterday, unless Governor, you are faking it, then I think it's an honor to apologize the way you did. I would have wished that you actually apologize also, and I think you did it also to Madame Dulo. The only issue that we have that is outstanding, and I think that is what is most probably making Madame Dulo uncomfortable and a few of us, is that we have already set up precedent legally. What do we do with a governor who has refused to attend these committee meetings once, twice, three times, and up to seven times? What do we do? And in that case, I would want to support Madam Miriam that the fine of 500,000, and <laughs> allow me to say this, I don't know what happens to you people in Nairobi, even Sakaja is having the same thing. Imi has been fined, I don't know, seven times. So I would, I would say that because we are the president and we have the history, I would then mention it to the chair that I have absolutely no problem if you pay that fine. Not because of any reason, but of the fact that you understand the weightiness and the relevance of what you do. Because you see, our job is to make sure we facilitate the evolution for you as governors. If you don't come for our meeting, and our relationship should never be adversarial. We should never fight. That is the most painful thing with all these committee members. We are caught in between. Do we fight? Then we as senators look like we want to be governors. And yet, many of us don't want to be governors. We just want to do our job, make sure you perform. You see, if Isiolo performs, you succeed and Madame Bulo succeeds. And both of you can actually mutually benefit from that relationship, whether it's politics 2027 or after that. So my honest observation, Chair, is that for me, I appreciate that the governor has really apologized and with the drunk statements he made. She you knows some of us were really insulted. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to let him score free. I think the committee can make a decision on the punishment. And I hope that after we finish this discussion, we can then begin to interrogate the issues that are affecting this local county. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think Chair, you framed it very well in terms of an apology and a past. How do you do an interview? The governor said he's sorry for the injury, but as you will say, the rules there require that there has to be an acceptable explanation. Because when you look at Article 1, it was two of the Constitution, the people exercise their power either directly or through their, their elected representatives. We are elected representatives. So when you show when you show us the contempt finger, you show the people contempt. And that's a very, very serious charge. Because then you are saying the constitution is nothing to you. So for me, when you come to the question of purging the offense, you can only purge based on the reasons. We know the supremacy of parliament in the world of things. So when you appoint to meet the governor, you have informed him in time that you are going to meet him in his home. What was this thing that was so, so important that could even override the parliamentary authority to have him go away? But the servants were told that only a donkey is stuck in a hole. You can break the servants and fight to save it. What was this that made our brother choose not to be before parliament, but to 
appear elsewhere to be in the front of the function who is going to was away who is either going surgery brain surgery at Kenyatta or what was going on because for me before you get to the patch we must understand the reason why he was upset and the reason itself could patch the content if the reason is acceptable it could patch the content and then they would be not for fine but if there is the, the no acceptable reason the only way you can patch this is by finding him then the question will be is it the maximum fine is it a bit about the minimum but the question to patch the contempt, there must be either acceptable reason for why it was contemptuous of happening, or in the absence of that, then we must, with a chair, uh, impose a fine to patch the contempt. It's like a cleansing ceremony. Thank you, Senator Umtatwa. Senator Mofa, you can go on record. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. And Senator Mofa, you let us into the other segments here and there. I'm afraid that uh, the governor's finally find his way to this committee. And uh, on the record, as a Senator Mandela Mofa, I'm a leading counselor and a member of this committee. And I don't know why the governor would find the difficult to work with this committee. I know his political background, he has been in uh, his political field for quite some time. And uh, Chair, I am trying to catch up with the debate, then I will give my party just the best support. Thank you very much. Uh, friend, Mr. Chair, um, thank you for this opportunity. Um, I think, let me remind uh, ourselves, those who are on the ground, I'm sorry, Senator, I'm uh, to Senator Sikuna, if I'm not going ask. There are two issues here. Number one, the governor has uh, apologized and withdrawn uh, the statements that he has made against this committee, which we agreed. But the outstanding bit is his attendance. And I think we have been magnanimous in the governor for Isiolo. And Isiolo is the only county that has three reports starting from 2018-2019. Uh, the rest are actually, by next month, we are going to move 2022-2023. And that is how this committee has been actually supporting your request whenever it comes before this committee. So when we were on the ground, we actually um, uh, <coughs> agreed or resolved as a committee that we are going to summon it, and we also we have also charged it. That was delayed, if I'm not wrong, by the legal department of the Senate, because they say the fine will come when it appears. So for me, the fine still stands. If we really feel that uh, uh, the reasoning he has given is not convincing. So personally, I am going to say that this committee has already made a resolution to find the governor in soon. Thank you. Chair, I will just comment. Just one comment. Let me allow me. I know you won't provide guidance. Wait for me to provide guidance. I put this question to the members. And I'm going to apply the standing orders as we would in the chamber. That no senator shall speak twice to a position. Obviously, if the senator goes, we have taken different positions. It's when we want us. I think we have been on the same matter many times. Order, can you be the first time that they are on the same Yes, Senator Methu. I don't know what she consumed and who provided. I also don't know what he consumed. Yeah, and who provided. Yeah, because, yeah, because, because uh, this... I can also be that very, today because we have taken a different position. Can you allow me to give direction, Senator? Can you also allow me to speak? You are my chairman, you are not... Uh, Senator, let me out. I, I, if you are disorderly, I will throw you out. I mean, it's not I have another power. I will throw you out. What is wrong? And the job you came to do, you will not be able to do it. No because you will be absent. And there's no problem. And so you will not even... Uh, throw me out just because I have taken a position different from yours. Sure. Um, 
most members, and this is why I didn't want to prosecute this in Kamel. I want the true colors to come out. And I want the people of Kenya to know who is standing for the constitution, with the constitution, for accountability, with transparency, and standing with the people of this year. I do not want this question to generate the kind of tension and the heat uh, that now Senator Methu is suffering from. Because it is a simple question. Everyone has spoken to it. The views are different. Your view and Senator Maria Mumad's view is different. What I did was to put a question. I did not say that that is my decision. I put the question. I have listened to members. The majority of the members feel that that contempt cannot be purged by a simple apology. And that is why we have those provisions in the Parliamentary Powers and Privileges Act. Now, unless Senator Methu, you want to vote, I'm not going to reopen debate. I just want to encourage members. I have heard you. And the views of the majority, even if you don't count the chair, points to a purging that contempt through the way of a fine. Even in high school, if you are caught smoking the way Senator Sifuna was always being caught, <laughs> then you say that now you have apologized, you'll be taken back to class. It does not work like that. Viboko utapeo, suspension, pi utapeo. The apology was not about the non-appearance in Ision. The apology was for the comments that were made out there. To patch the non-appearance in Siolo, what the governor must then demonstrate is, I traveled, this is my travel documents, this is my this is the invitation to the meeting that I've gone for. There has to be something before us. There is absolutely going by the majority views of the committee because the act says the committee may, not the chair may, the committee may impose such a fine. I will go with the majority views of the committee that the committee imposes a fine on Governor Uyo to purge that contempt up to the maximum of 500,000. Fortunately, he has come before it has been enhanced to 2 million and I think that then is the resolution of the committee that from the conversation we have had, the minority have had their say, the majority have had their way. Black, you will proceed to communicate that formally and give the governor uh, the requisite time frame for settlement of that fine. The next question is, do we proceed before the fine is paid or do we uh, wait for the fine to be paid for us to proceed? will do justice to the people of Isiolo. We have two audit reports. This is the only county where we are still in the financial year 2019-2020. Most of the counties were in 2021-2022. Uh, again, unless it is contested, which I hope not, I want to encourage members that we proceed to consider the report of the Auditor General and uh, provide time for the Governor to pay the, the fine. I shall Complicated by the black. Do we have a contrary opinion? As to proceed, Chair, just uh, first I need to correct the, the record that uh, I do not smoke <laughs> in high school. Uh, yes, I was a troublemaker, but not that kind of trouble. <laughs> I apologize, I, 